Every single year, people are making new discoveries in our oceans, and that's no surprise when you think that the ocean covers 70% of Earth. Scientists have tried to work out how many more species there are still to discover in the oceans, but as you can guess, that's a pretty challenging task. Today, we have a look at some of the rarer species that live in the waters. Number 21 healthy dose of sarcasm. We'd love to know how the sarcastic fringe head actually got its name. This creepy looking fish is no joke and its large mouth and seriously territorial behavior make this specimen quite the threat to crustaceans. They attack their prey with fury and an unlucky crustacean doesn't stand a chance. These elusive, mean looking fish are native to Southern California and parts of Mexico. Number 20, let's keep it this way. As we mentioned earlier, it's a good thing these creatures are elusive. Imagine having a refreshing swim in the ocean and bumping into a goblin shark. These horrible looking sharks are usually found at depths of 4,200 feet. These living fossils are not caught often, hence why not too much is known about them. They've been around for millions of years though, and their intriguing snout is covered with ampullae of Lorenzini, which gives the shark the ability to pick up electric fields produced by prey. Its sluggish body doesn't offer the animal very much speed, but he still needs to eat. Number 19, guess who's back? Nope, not Eminem, but rather the world's rarest marine animal. The Allonautilus scrobiculatus, or crusty nautilus, hasn't been spotted for over 30 years, but in 2015, only the third one ever was sighted in Papua New Guinea. It's believed that this animal may be the rarest in the world, and they've been around for 500 million years. This elusive little guy is related to squid and cuttlefish and were first discovered in 1984. Number 18, now you see me, and now you don't. Our next elusive creature is the boxer snipe eel, who have a seriously slender body and grow up to five feet long. Their bodies taper out at the end into thread-like tails. Their hard to pronounce scientific name means filament fish, and they are found in depths of 6,500 feet. Not too much is known about these eels due to their ability to hide pretty well. Number 17, more than a mouthful. Since they were first discovered in 1976, there have only been 63 sightings of mega mouth sharks. This remarkable shark is a filter feeder, and lucky for us, prefers to eat plankton and jellyfish as opposed to humans. Females are larger than the males and grow up to 16 feet, with weights of 2,679 pounds being reported. One was tagged in 1990, and it was discovered that during the day, the shark swam at depths of 390 to 520 feet, but at nighttime, rose to depths of between 39 and 82 feet. Number 16, what a blob. You probably have someone in your family that reminds you a little of a blobfish, a bit puffy, jiggly, maybe grotesque. This fish is like the limp handshake of the ocean and was even considered the world's ugliest animal in 2013. Due to the fact that these fish inhabit the very bottom of the ocean, their skin has become just as dense as the water. In order to satisfy its hunger, the blobfish simply opens its mouth and drifts along the bottom, waiting for any unsuspecting sea creatures to just enter its path. Dinner is served. Number 15, bear in mind that this elusive creature is not going to fulfill your need for giant cuddles, but it will still invoke, aww, cute emotions. They're called tardigrades, or you can call them water bears, or even moss piglets. These tough sea critters are able to live for up to 200 years and will even survive a trip to space. They can go for 30 years without food or water and basically dry up during that time. When both become available, they rehydrate and begin again. Number 14, Stuff of Nightmares. You've no doubt seen one of these fish in the movie Finding Nemo, and they're even scarier in real life. There are over 200 different species of anglerfish, and they have one thing in common, the headlamp appendage. This extra body part contains bioluminescent bacteria that attracts the fish towards its light. Once the fish is close, well, no more fish. They're generally found in the Atlantic Ocean anywhere between 3,280 and 9,800 feet below the surface. Number 13, Heart of Glass. No, you don't get points for guessing why our next elusive sea creature is called the glass octopus. It's because it's completely see-through, just like glass. These rare beauties reach around 4.3 inches in mantle length and 18 inches if you were to include the tentacles. Their transparency is the ultimate camouflage. Think Harry Potter and his invisibility cloak. You can still see the insides, so the octopus even swims in a special way so that his insides don't cast a shadow, alerting other predators of something swimming above them. Nature is really remarkable, isn't it? Number 12, put a ring on it. While we're chatting about octopi, let's meet the blue ringed octopus, 
This little guy is small, but don't be fooled. The blue ringed octopus is one of the most venomous animals in the world. This evasive octopus is found in tidal regions between Australia and Japan, and they're totally fine if you leave them alone. But if provoked, it could mean the end of your life. There is no anti-venom for the poison of a blue ringed octopus, and within minutes, you will be a goner. The blue rings are not always visible. They only crop up when the octopus is in danger, so let that be your warning sign and get far, far away. Number 11, I spy with my little eye, something beginning with the letter G. Yep, giant squid, and despite their massive size, they're pretty hard to find. The giant squid can reach lengths of 60 feet and is the largest invertebrate in the world. Their eyes are the size of frisbees. Males are smaller than females, and fortunately for them, their tentacles can regenerate. Interesting little tidbit, the very first photograph of a giant squid was taken in a bathroom in 1873. Moses Harvey had bought the specimen for $10 and laid it out over his shower curtain to take the photograph. Number 10, Duck, Duck, Goose. In some parts of the world, tucking into goose barnacles is considered a delicacy. These rare filter-feeding crustaceans are said to taste delicious, a mix between lobster and clam with the juiciest, softest flesh. Apparently, men risk their lives to try and retrieve the elusive barnacle, which can fetch around $80 a pound. A British beach made headlines last year when people reported an alien type of creature on the rocks. So rare, no one had ever seen the goose barnacles before, and some people thought it was some kind of alien in life. Number 9. Not your regular fish and chips. If you had to catch one of these, you'd be able to feed your entire neighborhood. This is an oarfish, also sometimes referred to as a sea dragon. These seriously long fish are found in oceans across the world, yet although you find them anywhere, it's finding them that's actually the challenge. They're extremely rare. One of these fish made it into the Guinness Book of World Records and measured 56 feet. Number 8. Call me Bob. This is a bobbit worm, and when they're poking their little head out in the sand, they look pretty cute, if you're into that sort of thing, I guess. Don't judge this guy by the part you see, as bobbit worms have been known to grow up to 9.8 feet long. That's a lot of worm hiding under the sand. The worm burrows itself into the sand, leaving only its antenna sticking out. When something delicious comes by, this fast worm grabs it with its sharp teeth. Number 7. Beware, he bites. With a name like Viperfish, what would you expect? Lucky for us, they're found in depths of up to 9,000 feet and prefer the warmer, more tropical waters. The Viperfish uses photophores to attract its prey, and it blinks on and off, thereby attracting the prey. Once it's close by, the Viperfish devours it. The fish has long fangs and a hinged jaw, which allows the fish to swallow prey a lot bigger than itself. Some have been known to swallow fish that are 63% of their own body length. Number six, fly away with me. It seems that butterflies are just as beautiful in water as they are out of water. This is a Cleo chaptali, a sea butterfly that is actually a type of snail. Their wings are the foot of the snail that has evolved over time to replicate wings. This sea butterfly flutters about, passively feeding on plankton and still has its shell for protection. Number five, oh Christmas tree. Even under the ocean, there's reason to celebrate Christmas as they have their own brightly colored Christmas trees. The easy name for them is Christmas tree worms, and there are over 13,000 species of them. They're bright and come in many different colors. You always see them in pairs, and they do quite a bit of work. Besides feeding and sifting through the food, these little guys also harness oxygen. Number four, you look like you've seen a ghost. We think we'd actually rather see a ghost than a ghost shark. Ghost sharks are extremely rare, but they have been spotted off the coast of Hawaii, California, and even Australia. They're in depths of between 1,600 and 9,800 feet and have a diet of worms, crabs, and mollusks. These sharks are living fossils, and they've sometimes been called rabbit shark. Reason being, they have a jaw very similar to a rabbit, which they use to crush shells with. Number three, here be monsters. This fish looks like it's emerged from the underworld. The Pacific Black Dragon is a deep sea predator and is found in the Pacific Ocean. The females grow to around two feet, but the males a mere three inches. Bad luck for the males. They're only around to do the dirty, and after that, bye-bye Pacific Black Dragon. Number two, not much of a looker. It's called the Black Swallower, which sounds maybe more like a wrestling name than the name of a fish, but when you hear why it's called that, it'll make sense. This predator likes to dwell around 10,000 feet below the surface, and they're not fussy. They like the waters of the Pacific, Atlantic, and Indian Oceans. They're slim pickings when you're that far down, so these fish are able to swallow prey that's much larger than itself. Number one, hide and seek champion. 
Lobsters may not be as elusive as our previous deep sea dwellers, but they still love to hide, which can make trying to catch them a little more than a challenge. These tasty critters like to hide in rocky caves and crevices, but also lift a rock or two because they're quite adept at hiding there. Interesting side note, lobsters begin their lives near the surface of the water, but as they grow, they start making their way to the very bottom of the ocean. Thanks for watching the video. We hope that you learned something new. Remember to hit like if you enjoyed it and subscribe to our channel for more daily videos. Thanks for watching.